Howdy everyone, Potcher here in Age of Magic video, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Playcot. Um, you will know what that means in a second. Before I start, I want to make two apologies. One of them is because I have a cold, um, so I'm a bit nasally. What can you do? The second one is an apology towards LNF. Uh, two weeks ago I asked someone to take some photos for me from the LNF Discord about team compositions. I was looking for some ideas for videos and uh, yeah, it was disrespectful of me, I shouldn't have done it. Um, sorry if I have offended or hurt anyone, uh, it will not happen again. Um, take that for what it is, I do apologise, so I am sorry. Um, moving on though, I have had a lot of people message me in the last week um, about teams and a whole bunch of other things, I can't remember off the top of my head how to beat teams, stuff like that. My answer has been generally the same to everyone. I can't reply right now, I'm quite busy. Uh, the reason for that was because I was very busy. I was very fortunate enough to go and visit Playcop. I got on a plane in Australia, traveled 24 hours across the world, ended up in the cold wastelands of uh, St. Petersburg. And I got to meet the team behind Age of Magic. I got to talk to several departments within Age of Magic. I got to ask them a lot of questions. I got to bring up a lot of concerns about the game. Um, if the responses to my concerns uh, could tell me anything, it I, I did get the sense that Age of Magic has a bright future. I'm saying this completely out of with no ability to tell what's happening in the future whatsoever. But I did get to raise a lot of points. I did get to talk about a lot of things, and the feedback. I know it's feedback that we've been giving for a long time, but I think it's feedback that they really took to heart, and um, hopefully we can start seeing some changes. Um, I don't really want to go back into the feedback that I did talk to them about or what the community wants, um, because. If it's not implemented, if it's not changed, and there's, you know, that's just the way it is. There's no point getting heated up about it. But I did, I did bring up a lot of concerns. Um, so as you can see here in the background, I have a photo. That's just a cool cup I found. Uh, I got to tour the office um, and see a lot of things. I was very lucky enough as well. They allowed me to take some photos that I could share with everyone. Um, so we'll go over the photos now. Uh, this is just a cool cup I found in the office. It got cool little gatekeeper on there. Uh, so I thought that was awesome. Uh, this is a, a plant wall. They have a plant wall in the office, which was refreshing because it was the only green thing I saw in Russia the whole time I was there. Everything else is dead and and cold, and so <laughs> it was just good seeing some green. Next, we have a Christmas tree. I don't know why I just took a photo of a Christmas tree. In case you're wondering if Playcot celebrates Christmas, they do. It's a Christmas tree with some presents under it. And we have Anatoly sitting at his desk. Um, nothing to really pay attention to in this in this picture. There's nothing hidden at all that you could see that may indicate to something happening in the future of Age of Magic. That is definitely not what's happening in this photo. Just a photo of Anatoly sitting at his desk, doing work on his PC, on his on his screen. As you can see, the work he is doing on his screen. Um, yeah, it's a cool little picture of Anatoly. Uh, this is the uh, development uh, part of the company. This is where everyone in development works. Uh, cool. It's a fun environment. Everyone is desks is like personalized. They have like little action figures and stuff on it. Um, you could kind of tell what type of person it was by just looking at their desk. Just the cool things they had around. Uh, this is the arts and visual graphics, whatever. I don't know the technical term. The arts department. This is where they make all the nice art that we get to look at playing the game. And finally we have Clan Wars and the sole member working on Clan Wars. As you can see he's working quite hard and uh, yeah, this is why this is the Clan Wars team. I'm just joking. I, I, they, they got me into the office pretty early before anyone had even arrived. I got to walk. Uh, <clears throat> I have seen the um, Clan Wars department working full steam ahead. There is a lot of people working in there. Probably one of the busiest departments because they are, they are fighting very hard to get it out. They really are. So as you can see here, here are a few more members that are working on the Clan Wars part of the game. Uh, there are a few members as well that work remotely on the project. There are a few members overall in the in the company that work remotely. They 
they have people all over the globe working for Playcot, so it's a very interesting thing to to see when you're there. They have a a big map with little pins in it of where everyone comes from in the in the world. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, so that was my tour around the office. A really nice work environment. Um, they're very positive considering they get a lot of shit. <laughs> I know people complain about a lot of stuff in Age of Magic, but um, it was a very nice work community environment, um, and they're all very friendly people. Very friendly, and um, it was I was very blessed to be able to go and, and visit them. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I don't know if I said it actually. I am doing this video in two parts. The first one is everything I just covered, and the second one is an interview I got to do with Anatoly, asking him ten specific questions about the game. I wanted to make that video separate, otherwise it would just go for too long. In saying that, there are a lot of videos I need to do still. I still need to make the Ilios video. I need to make a video on Oraheim. I know that's not how you say her name, but that's how I'm going to say it because that is how it's spelt and that is how I'm going to pronounce it. I know it's of Japanese origin. I do not care. I'm going to pronounce it Oraheim. Um, what else do I need to do? Uh, there's a lot I need to catch up on. So uh, bear with me. I still need to do the tournament as well. Uh, the AI Championships, check out that video if you have not seen it. It's just giving you a quick explanation of what's going to happen. Uh, the first video I'm going to do is going to be in several parts because I was fiddling around with just some sketches and stuff of what I wanted to actually do. And there is a lot of battles I need to do. So I'm going to probably have to spread it out over several videos. There'll be like rounds and stuff. More to that to come. Uh, more on that is going to come though. It's a lot I need to plan for it. So be patient with that. It is coming. And yeah. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, I'm sure you do. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'll answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.